And we're gonna start with, ooh, one of my favorites. Y'all ready? You better make her feel welcome. You have got to make her feel welcome. Everybody on their feet for a Houston welcome. Natalie Emanuel! Because it will come if you if you believe in, in what you're doing. But I really think that um, that patience and and holding on is is um, it's definitely been my journey for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I it's a long journey. It's a long haul. And I always think about the sort of um, image of like treading water. Like you'll tr you'll stay above as long as you keep mm -hmm. just right. keep going. You yeah. have to keep kicking your legs. And, you know. Because eventually, like, they are they're giggling because you can't see what you're. I would, I would do you do all the actions of like very serious, but actually, you're doing like a ludicrous. <laughs> and, and Jacob's like standing next to me, being like, You're making me laugh. <laughs> Can yeah. we get a taste? Do we get a little something? Yeah. 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 Sorry, I feel like I put you in a spot right now. Sorry, but that's okay. I don't want to leave, so I've got to no, 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 no. what is your fantasy? <laughs> allowed to not be there because they yeah. need to point cameras at us and yeah. fly and what have you. Yeah. So for us to like leave set is like a thing. Yeah. Right? So but you shut down the whole production. Oh, yeah, they're like, well we have to wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or like lunch, they're like, could you hold on till six? <laughs> Just because like, we really need to keep going. And you're like, no, no. Yeah, because you can't eat in corsets. Oh no, you can't. I wasn't as fast as you to be fair. Oh my god, some of those armors were yeah. like yeah. intense. Yeah. Yeah, season eight, she just went like <laughs> next level with the courses. Oh. <laughs> That's <laughs> exhausting, just thinking about, about it, you know? Yeah. Um, okay, so, so yeah, I was I was incredibly unemployed when I got when I got going. <laughs> <laughs> me too, sister. Me too. Yeah. 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 And now, I mean, looking back at that moment and where it is today, what did, what have you learned? Have you changed at all? Do you think as a person? Completely. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think you can only change so much. I think the, the, the you know the, who who I am is. The same, uh, but now um, my entire world is different. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything's changed, and I think it's an extraordinary thing. And I don't know whether it's just because it's been, you know, essentially a decade of of life that's been lived. So a huge amount of of real life things have happened in that time to kind of change me. But um, but I I just feel like I like I have found a voice that I didn't really even know was possible ten years ago to be able to to have, and that's been the most remarkable part of this journey. Absolutely. 
was hard enough doing it. And that was your last day. Yeah. It was your actual last day. <laughs> and it's so funny because Conleth, who's always, he's always like, he's always bringing the giggles, always. <laughs> and me and Jacob were just broken. Yeah. Like Nat left and we were like, we can't, we can't do this. Yeah. And he was trying so hard to make us happy and make us giggle and we were a bit just like, was he doing like silly voices or something? No, he was. <laughs> he was like, not even, a, not even like, the glint of a smile. We just couldn't do it. It was too sad. Yeah. I know. We're sad, but you know what? We're so glad that both of you are here in Houston Woo! to... Woo! Um, your input on this one. We talk a minute about High Valerian, the language, right? Because who knows when you make a mistake? I mean, I think there's probably somebody out there that does, but really? Like, David J. Peterson. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He knows the language, to say right? He knows exactly. He so. knows all the words. Yeah. It's like and tomato, 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 you said that wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, yeah. How difficult is it to learn a language that's a language, but not a language? <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, it's, it's really difficult because they don't, it's not like learning French or German, like a language, like a language that, that, we, it, that people speak. Yeah. Um, it's, um, you, you, so you don't, you don't know what you're saying. <laughs> so it was only in season eight that we got, so what we'd normally have is we would have the High Valyrian, Dothraki, Low Valyrian, whatever it is that you're learning, and then the English. And so then you'd have your MP3 and you'd listen to it, listen to it, listen to it, listen to it, and then kind of learn it. And then in season eight, he was like, oh, no, no, now I'm going to do a direct translation. Because I don't know about you, but I would sort of guess. Like, yeah. I think that word you start means to pick up people. Like, yeah, you know, like, like the Vulganis is yes, exactly. Or yeah. like, yeah. South Therese is dragon. Like, you start to pick it up. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> do you ever yeah. just pull out the language in like the airport or something? Do you just try to like... Do you know what? I, I am nowhere to lie. Like early on, like before, like early, early on, I was in a bar once and this guy would not leave me alone. <laughs> he wouldn't leave me alone. And I was like, oh no, thank you. And then he didn't take my... So I started speaking, I just started making it up and he was like, so, and I was like, no English, sorry. And then he walked oh, up. Really I just pretended I couldn't speak English. But I don't speak any other languages. I was like, Valyrian, go. Learn it. <laughs> I haven't one time, like many years ago. <laughs>